Gothics, I'm Enemy Darkness, Ebony Darkness Dementor Raven Way, and today I'm going to show you how to do a really good makeup look for if you're going to a concert, specifically if it's a GC concert, because that's what I'm going to tonight. So this is going to be a little more complex than my first makeup tutorial, but hopefully you've studied that hard enough and you can keep up. First thing we're going to do is moisturize, and we're going to use the same one from the last video with a purple cap. So like last time, we just want to squeeze it out and it's really hard to see because my hands are so white because my skin is so pale white but you just want to apply it evenly all over your face. First step after you moisturize is to do your foundation. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Locket Foundation in the shade Light 42. That's the only shade that I've been able to find that's even like close to being pale enough for me and it's still not quite perfect because Really, honestly, I just need one that's like straight up white because I'm that pale, but I mean, like, this will do for now. And it's Kat Von D, so that's about as gothic as you can get with your foundation, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, like I said last time, your goal here is to apply the lightest layer of foundation that you can. You don't want it to be really thick and caked on or else you're going to look so fake and like a prep poser. You're going to look like a poser, and that's all there is to it. See? What a thin layer that is, like I've barely got any on my face. And so now using your mirror, you just want to take your blending sponge and make sure that it's even all over your face. Because if you have any patches that aren't blended in, then like obviously it's foundation and obviously you're gonna look fake. Like I wasn't even gonna put on foundation for this look because like I'm pale already, but I just figured since I was doing it for a makeup tutorial, I might as well do the whole thing so that it's more comprehensive for the people who are as smart as I am and can't understand. Don't forget that if you're not as pale as I am or you're not as pale as like the foundation that you bought for yourself because you're trying to be as pale as I am, make sure that you bump it down your neck. And again, just like last time, if you want to get a nice matte finish all over your face and set it really well, especially because I know when a lot of people go to concerts, they get sweaty. Oh, because sweating's gross, so I won't do it, but um, you might. Just in case you want to make sure that everything stays in place, you're going to take a powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 100 Translucent because I'm so pale that my skin is basically translucent. And so you just want to take either a little pad that comes with it or a brush. I prefer the brush because it's black, so it's gothic. Um, but you just want to take that and apply it evenly all over your face so that it sets your foundation and you're good to go. Step is very important, which is the eyebrows. I like to use an angled eyeshadow brush and a matte black eyeshadow, preferably Kat Von D because that's the most gothic, but if you can't afford that, any black is good because black is gothic. And you might be thinking that like that doesn't match the color of your hair, which I mean, I guess that might be kind of posing in a way, but you really want your makeup to be as gothic as you are. You want to remember that even if black isn't your natural eyebrow color, you still want to follow the natural shape of your eyebrow because if you don't, you're going to look fake. It's, it's just really not that hard. Like, it's really easy to just follow, like, the way your brow naturally arches and, like, the length of it. Like, it really- it's not science. It's not that hard. It's not like doing brain surgery. Like, there are way harder things you could do. Like, I would know because I do hard things all the time, but, like, it shouldn't be that hard to do is very important so you want to look at both halves of your face when you're doing the second eyebrow you just want to make sure that they match and that they're even. Now that you've filled in your eyebrows we're going to move on to the eye look which like I said is going to be a little bit more difficult than the last makeup tutorial so if you don't feel like you're ready maybe you should go back and do something more like that for the concert because you should really stick more into the realm of like where you're more comfortable and whatever. Since we want to look as gothic as possible for the concert, we're going to be doing this look using blacks and grays. I know red is a really good gothic color and we might incorporate it just a little bit, but mainly this will be a black and gray eyeshadow look. So I'm starting out with a gray base just applied all over my eyelid. Just want to take that, don't go all the way up into the brow bone because that doesn't look good and don't go like too close to your nose because that looks stupid too, but just Apply it and blend it evenly all over your lid. 
So it's kind of hard to see, but we've got the first one done, and it's like this nice pale gray color, and it's a really good way to start out this look. So the second thing that we're going to do for this look is take a slightly darker gray eyeshadow and then apply that from about the middle, like all the way into the corner of your eye. And you're only going to do that on the inside, not the outside. Then, after that's done, you want to take a black eyeshadow, and then you're going to use that from like roughly like where your arch is and your eyebrow kind of like right across from that, and you're going to use that all the way to the outer corner, and you're actually going to take it like into a wing like you're going to do with your eyeliner when you get to that step. So after you've done that step, you just want to take your brush and then blend it. So it looks right. And after that, we're going to take the same black eyeshadow that we used for the wings, and we're going to use that to cut the crease of the eye because that makes a really dramatic look. So just to add a little bit of a twist and just a bit of a pop of color, this look, we are actually going to take a red eyeshadow, like a deep red, and then just kind of take that all the way across underneath the eye and blend it into where it meets the wing. So after you've done that, you may feel like you don't really need eyeliner because you just did so much with the eyeshadow, but eyeliner is always important and you need to put it on. So I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper because that's my favorite. And we're just going to take that and apply it all the way across in a thick line all the way into the wing. And like, the goal is for your eyes to be really gothic and also for them to really pop. So after you've done the top lid, you want to take the eyeliner and just line underneath your lash line. Um, the step is to take the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, just do our eyelashes like that. I don't need mascara, but, you know, I want Joel Madden to notice me, and I kind of want Draco to notice, like, how gorgeous and, like, limpid my eyes are, so just adding an extra step for precaution. We're going to be highlighting on this look as well, we want the contour to be a little more subtle, so I'm going to be using the Kat Von D palette in Dreamer, and I'm going to use the middle matte orange shade to contour my face, along with like a little dusting of the brown. So just take that with your brush, suck in your cheeks, and then just dust it over your face. The same palette, we're going to use this pale shade all the way over here. And that's going to be our highlight, and so you just want to put that like on the apples of your cheeks. Because since you're going to be like around stage lights and stuff, and it's going to be really bright, like your face will be a lot more striking if it has like the highlight. Granted, my face is already really striking, and so I don't need this, but like I said, I'm just trying to help other people out because like <sighs> it's so difficult being this perfect. I'm going to be honest with you, but like. I feel like if I'm perfect, I should at least just share with other people how to be like even slightly as perfect as I am. Just take your sponge, blend it out. But after you're done blending, our last step is to do lipstick. Again, black lipstick. We're only ever doing black lipstick. Any other color is not acceptable. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Liquid to Matte Lipstick in the shade Witches. And remember, following your natural lip line is important. You don't want to look like Kylie Jenner because she's a poser. Tops off this makeup look. I need to go because Drake is going to pick me up soon for the concert and I need to just like prepare myself because it's like our first date and uh, not that I like him or anything. If Willow told you that, she's a liar. Okay. Okay, regardless of what concert you're going to, like it doesn't have to be GC. If you're going to like any kind of cool like gothic band, you could use something like this. This definitely is a great concert look. I've used it for like so many other concerts that I've been to in Hogsmeade. Oh, and also I didn't really do accessories for this look because I feel like between the jacket and this really cool choker, I felt like that really set enough. Um, but you want to make sure that your nails are painted black. That's the only color I ever paint my nails. Anyway, thanks for watching. Not posting again until I get five good reviews. No flamers, 
no preps, I don't want to hear anything that you have to say, and I don't care. Stop flaming my story, flaming my videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.